hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you i'm trying to catch a cold y'all so i'm just taking a little pause i've been taking some little medicine but anyway um First off, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers that's coming in. And I'm going to say this because you don't probably don't know about it. So, um, all of you who just subscribed to my channel, appreciate you. Appreciate everybody else that was there before. But um, I do a cash giveaway every month. I give away $200. I give away $100 to two different people that I pull from a little bucket with names in it that leave comments, okay? Um, I do this every month out of appreciation to my subscribers and their loyalty. Um, when you come into my comment section, you will understand what I'm saying. Um, only thing I ask is you watch some of the commercials and you have to leave at least one comment and I will put your name into my bucket. Okay. Um, I need you to have cash app or you will have to take a hundred dollar gift card okay so um that's the only way that i will be able to pay out the prizes now i try to keep things respectful on my page so if you come into here and you don't know me i'm gonna tell you it's okay to disagree but when it gets disrespectful, you will be blocked. Whether it's toward me or my day ones, twos, and threes. Okay? Or any other new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Okay? So, you will be blocked if you come on here acting stupid. We trying to keep it mature over here. Although I do have to, you know, stop and check, you know, people. But I try to still do it respectfully. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So please, please, please. Everything is alleged. Or a little truth in there too. You know, a lot of truth in there, but a lot of legend too. Okay, y'all. We are about to start talking about some stuff that um, may go over people's head. I don't know. But one thing that I do know is. We have to keep this case alive. We have to see what justice there's they're going to give Mo three. Because giving Mo three justice gives a whole lot of more people justice. And that means on both sides. On Mo three side and on background dancers and them side as well. Justice. It will open up a whole lot of, <coughs> excuse me, a cold case that's, you know, cold cases that has been, you know, pushed to the side and nobody cares. Or they just don't have a clue. Or they have a clue and they don't want to say anything because a lot of them is a part of it that's working at these police stations. So we have to keep a close eye on what's going on with this case. People are coming in my comment section and they are like, you know, 
Yella is living his best life right now. He's living his best life. He's in Dubois, or whatever they saying. Du whatever. I forget. Something like that. And he is going to the games and he's just living it up. But best believe he got eyes on him. He has eyes on him. Everywhere he goes. People are paying attention to him. People are paying attention to Dallas. They're paying attention to this new chief. They're paying attention to the commissioner. They're paying attention to the ABC boys, as y'all call it. Because we want justice. We do not want this brushed under the rug. It's no way that we can sit back and just act like this didn't just happen. That they didn't just put Mo3 in a movie allegedly just to set him up with the ops we cannot sit back and watch this and i said this months ago my day ones twos and threes they know i said this i said if they let them get away with this okay if they let the guys you know mr e allegedly if they let him get away with helping set up mo3 it is going to start open up a whole new thing. I, I said this months ago. People that's doing movies are going to be scared out their minds on the set for real. Because they're trying to get a new wave to come in of real life stuff happening instead of <coughs> actors really just acting. Excuse me. I told y'all I'm trying to catch a cold. This will open a portal. I don't know if you all are familiar with, you know, them tobacco movies. It's another word for it, but I don't, I'm going to just say tobacco movies. They underground. And they show people being taken out and then people pay to watch it. This is what they're moving to the big screens. Okay, y'all? I don't know if you all are keeping up with the Rust cast of that movie and the whole incident with Alec Baldwin. Well, it's a lot coming out now. A lot. And just like they putting all of this to the forefront and letting everybody see that that whole thing was a setup. Just like they doing that with him. They need to do this with Mo3 as well. They need to put, if they're not going to do it, we need to stay on this. It is going to open up a portal. That they're going. This is going to be a normal thing. I said this months ago. My subscribers know I said it. <clears throat> that this is going to be a normal thing. That you're going to be seeing all the time. That actors is getting taken out. Every now and then, back in the days, you 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 know you heard about it. Every now and then, it it would actually you know actually come out. Every now and then, just like with Bruce Lee and his son and all of this other stuff. But now, look how it's coming in, y'all. Look how it's coming in. On the day of Mothri's release movie, of him being taken out in this way. Allegedly. This happens to someone else on another scene of another movie.
now it's coming out that other actors are coming out that was in this Rust movie. They're coming out, and I would show you all. I just can't right now because I'm trying to get this office together. But I'm going to have my, a TV in there as well so that I can turn my camera around and we can look at some stuff together. I'm trying to hook it up for us, y'all. It's coming out now that other actors are coming up doing interviews saying that they felt like their life was in danger making that movie. They said they were scared out of their minds. Some actors even quit the day before this incident happened. So did they quit because they were just uncomfortable or did they know something? Ask yourself this question. I remember a long time ago, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, when I used to go to, you know, to the hall and they used to say this was in the Bible. They said that people in the last days are going to be throwing money in the street. I never could understand that because I was like, yeah, right. But I'm understanding that meaning now. I saw a video of ice cube saying that he turned down a movie role or something for nine million dollars because he wasn't getting stuck he wanted to you know use his rights and not get stuck you know some people want to get stuck they let them get stuck and some people they don't want to get stuck but the movie people told him if he didn't get stuck, you know, and he walked away. Now another actor that just did it too. Another actor just turned down nine million dollar role. People are throwing money in the street. They like, uh, I don't care. I'm good. Is there something behind all of this? Ask yourself this question. Is there something behind these movie roles now? I said it, but I didn't. Well, I, 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 I did. I was going to say I didn't foresee it, but yeah. It doesn't matter if you're a good actor or not. If you are in a real life situation, ain't no acting to it. This is why it took, allegedly, the people, you know, Mr. E I'm going to just call it like it is. Allegedly. This is why it took them that long to rearrange some scenes about Mo3 at the end of this movie. Because it was going to be so obvious. And they still think that they got away with it. So to the person that left me the comment in the comment section and they were saying um Yella's living his best life. He better enjoy himself while he can. Allegedly. Cause when it all goes down, it's just like what Devin Brown said. It came out of his own mouth. Sit back and watch this movie play out. Remember, he said this out of his own mouth from the jail. Watch this play out. So, I have an update. I'm not going to hold you all because I'm still in the middle of doing some stuff and I'm working on this cold. But, um, Devin Brown has been moved 15 minutes away from Dallas. Okay, y'all. He is in a federal place. Okay, y'all. And um, a federal jail. And 15 minutes away from Dallas. So they're keeping him close for a reason. Normally, people be shipped all over the place when they go to, you know, go to jail and prison and all of this stuff. But I do believe there is a reason for them to keep him close. Okay, y'all. So, um, I'm going to
show you where he is now. This is where he was moved to. Okay, y'all? So he did not get out. He was just moved to another federal prison. Okay, so is this where he's going to serve his six years or what is going, you know, or is he going to just serve six years? Is he going to serve six years and then they're going to, you know, let him know, oh, you ain't going nowhere? <laughs> because I do believe he got to be a reason for them keeping him close. Okay, y'all? So, um... I just wanted to keep you all updated. I know people have things to do. Get back to y'all day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, y'all, to watch some of them commercials, please. Okay? And try to watch the videos all the way through. And also, I have another announcement. Um, one of my subscribers... Her, um, her page is Fashion19, and she has her own clothing line. She designed her own clothes, and she has some really nice outfits, y'all. She is very talented. I am blessed to have her on my page, okay, y'all? Well, um, for the holiday, she has reached out to me. And asked if she can be a part of my giveaway, y'all. And I thought that was so sweet. She want to do it just for the holiday. So, she wants to bless. I don't, we haven't worked out all of the de details yet. I don't know if it's going to be one person or whatever she wants to do it. Because I, you know, I give away to two people. I don't know if she wants to do one person or two. I don't care. I just, I'm happy that she's doing it with me. So, um, she wants to... You know, give a lucky, lucky subscriber um, an outfit so, you know, that they can win for the holiday. So, um, please check out her her page. Check out her channel. She has some of her outfits on the page. I am going to put her, one of her videos in my description box so that um, you can go to her page and check out some of her outfits. And you are not going to be disappointed, I promise you. So, um, if you want to get in on this, you know, this drawing for the holiday, then um, go check out her her clothes, okay, y'all? And let her know if you, you know, you want to come in and say which, you know, vote on some of the outfits, whatever. Then maybe that'll be the one that she put out. I don't know, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. And check my description box for her page. And uh, have a beautiful day, y'all. Thank you for watching.